Good day and welcome to the Energy Quick Takes podcast for Thursday, the 6th of January, 2022. I am Omono Okonkwo with your African-centric energy news for the day. This is what you need to know right now. Shell has said it respects the decision of the South African High Court to terminate seismic exploration activity in the Amazon Warrior survey vessel after concerns were raised by Greenpeace and other environmentalists over the impact of such activity on marine life. The African Energy Chamber has called upon African states and the private sector to establish energy banks which will focus on funding African energy projects. NJ Ayuk, chairman of the African Energy Chamber, wrote this in an op-ed stating that it is time for Africans to raise funds to develop all forms of African energy without relying on foreign aid, which could be tied to conditions requesting for the abandonment of fossil fuels on the African continent. FAMFA, CEPLAT, and Sahara Group are some of the Nigerian energy companies that are reportedly prepping to submit bids by January 31 for Shell's Nigerian onshore oil fields in a sale that could raise as much as 3 billion USD. Egypt has picked nuclear energy solution company, Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power, to be a single source supplier of turbine islands for the country's first nuclear power plant. When complete, the nuclear power project will have a capacity of 4,800 megawatts. The project will cost 28.75 billion USD. Russia will finance 85% of the funding, while Egypt will provide the remaining 15% in installments. The loan has a repayment period of 22 years, with an annual interest rate of 3%. The recent proposal by the European Union to label natural gas as green has been commended by some stakeholders in Africa. For Africans, energy security and economic prosperity are paramount to preserving livelihoods and guaranteeing energy access for millions of people. The continent's energy leaders are pushing for the right to explore all energy sources due to the fact that the continent contributes about 3% to CO2 emissions. And that's it on Energy Quick Takes this Thursday. We thank you for listening and do have a great day. I am Omono Okonkwo.